let's learn satin couching. I've got two needles here. One has got three strands of thread and one has got six. I'm going to use the six as my thread that I'm going to couch. I've got a line of my fabric here, but that really doesn't mean anything. That's just from a previous stitch that I've just recorded. So I'm going to stitch over that just to avoid any confusion. So this is the six strands of thread and I'm going to couch over the top of that one. I've left it loose at the back. If you prefer to tie off, you can, but I kind of like the flexibility of, of leaving it. So tie a knot in the end of your thread, ready to stitch. So satin couching is very, very similar to normal couching. You're stitching over this couch thread, but with the satin couching, what you're doing is you're stitching the stitches over the top very, very close together to create a satin effect. Now, what you can do if you prefer is to kind of go along and fill in a few gaps. It's entirely up to you. So you could leave a space between the stitches and then just go back and fill in those gaps. Or you can just do them next to each other, whatever works for you, really. I kind of like leaving a little gap and going back in. That's how I normally stitch satin stitch. I just think it's a little bit easier to do that. But you can already see that this is a really nice effect. What you need to ensure when you're couching over the top is that you keep your stitches a similar kind of length. That's another advantage of leaving a small gap between is that if you have got any that are slightly different lengths, you can kind of go back and fill them in a little bit, cover them up. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> One of the things I love about hand embroidery, do what works for you, cover, hide up your, hide up? No, cover up your mistakes, hide them. Nobody really knows. Don't forget that nobody sees the back anyway. So there's no need to worry about that. So that's basically it. And then when you get to the end, you just tie off. Oops, I've lost my needle. I mean, maybe that's a good place to stop because <laughs> we don't need to see me do it all along this line. You've got the basic principle. So when you get to the end, you just tie off both threads at the back. But it's a nice effect, isn't it? I like that. So have fun. You can wiggle it around, do curvy lines, all sorts. It's really, really flexible, this stitch. So have fun and play around with it. That's satin couching.